You've been invited to the next board meeting. Congratulations. How do you feel about that? Are you maybe excited and think that this is the one opportunity that you've waited for that can propel your career forward? Or maybe you're a little bit apprehensive because, after all, it's a bunch of people you probably have never met before. Regardless of that, you certainly want to make a great first impression. So in this video, I will tell you all about it. I will tell you what to keep in mind when you present to the board and how to best structure your content. Maybe you haven't seen me before. My name is Kai. I spent over 20 years in the financial industry. During that time, I presented many times to different boards and ultimately I also sat on a couple of boards myself. All of that made me quite passionate about leadership and especially how we integrate all of those things into our lives to lead a more unified life. If that is something that interests you, then please do subscribe to this channel. Every single week, I share more tips and tricks just like this. The number one thing about boards that you need to understand to make your presentation effective is that the board isn't that interested in the success of the company or the financials alone, and even less so the success of your team or yourself. What they are really interested in is what is the oversight of that company? Think about it. It's the number one thing that can actually get directors into trouble because if somebody comes along and can demonstrate that they didn't do the proper oversight of the company, they can get into trouble with the law, with the regulators or with the shareholders. So keep that in mind when you present to the board. You want them to feel safe. You want to make sure that they understand that everything has been done to ensure proper oversight. So let me tell you a little bit more about what that actually means. In my time in the financial industry, I was also a risk manager. And as a risk manager, you come to think of the world in different categories. And interestingly, those categories are also the things that the board of directors will think most of. And there are really four main categories. One is about investment and credit. What that means is they want to know that everything that has to do with the financial standing of the company is well overseen. The second area are operational risks. So here we are talking about processes themselves. We talk about the way the firm conducts its business and where things could go wrong. The third area are legal and compliance risks. Here, it's important to know that the firm is on the right side of the law and that everything has been done to ensure that there are no fraudulent activities occurring. And the fourth area are any sort of strategic risks. Is the company positioned correctly in the market? Are there any external circumstances right now that could negatively impact the company? Things like this will be very interesting to the board. So what you need to know is how to integrate those four areas of oversight into your presentation. And the number one thing to do that is do not waste their time. You can have the best presentation ever, but if it's not to the point, if it doesn't address the things that they need to know most, they will feel resentful. How do you do that? How do you not waste their time? Number one, big issues first. That seems very obvious, but you wouldn't believe how many presentations I've seen where people go into a board meeting and they tiptoe around the most important issues because they don't want to admit a mistake or they don't want to have an uncomfortable conversation. And so they present all kinds of things that are just remotely interesting to the board. And then the big issue is left to the very end of the presentation. Guess what happens? Because once it's on the table, they can't just stop there. Yes, maybe you say, well, the time has run out, we can't go on, but that's not true for a board meeting. They will stay in the room, they have to tackle that big issue. Guess how that makes everyone feel? So don't make the same mistake. If there is a big issue that you have to talk about, bring it out right up front. The second thing that you want to do in order to not waste the board of directors time is this, tie in your successes and your department's report to those four areas of oversight. If you're a sales team, for example, there will be certainly some interest in how much revenue and margin you generate from those clients, and that is the investment oversight. But you will also want to make sure that they understand how you vet the clients and bring them on board, which talks about those operational risks that can occur. 
And then, of course, you want to make sure that you respect the client's privacy laws so you stay on the right side of the compliance and regulatory framework. And equally, you want to explain to the board of directors how your clients fit into the strategic framework of the company. So if you do think about those four areas of oversight, you will have a very natural outline for your presentation. And the third thing not to waste anybody's time is never, never go into a board meeting with a problem only. The reason you shouldn't do that is because solving your problem isn't the board's job. Their job is to have proper oversight and their job is also to provide you some additional help should you need it. And that leads me to my next point. Ask for help. See, you need to understand exactly who your board of directors are and you need to understand what type of leverage they may have. Maybe you have somebody sitting on the board who can get you a better deal on a software that you're using. Maybe you have somebody who is part of a company as well who gives you a hard time and you can use him as an intermediary. So understand who sits on the board, what leverage they can provide and think in advance of your presentation what you want to ask them for. Because just like you and I, they love when their expertise is needed and valued. Just like the people on the board, I personally also like to know when my expertise is valued. And you can do that for zero dollars by clicking the like button. If you do that, then YouTube will share this message to other people. I can create more content and that means I will see you in the next video.